The next morning, while contemplating a Lebanese kebab shop across the street, opting for a more local liquid breakfast, he received a call on his mobile unit, telling him that both the master, Jeff Gould, and the dancing fools were no longer in the vicinity, but had left and were headed for Kuala Lumpur, where he had started his mission. He drove to the nearest airport, checked in the beautiful vintage Ford Falcon he had hired and come to love, and bought a standby for the first available flight out, still wondering what happened to those Bundjalung people. On the flight, he began to think about the dancing fools. The legend claimed the victims danced to rid themselves of the spider's poison, but there was another version that said those who were bitten could not resist dancing when they heard music. It was some kind of trance dance, healing ritual they are doing, he said to himself. Thank you.